All right, so I'm going to talk about switch statements in Java. Switches are great for when you have different code you want to execute based on based on a discrete variable, uh, a specific value. Uh, they work pretty easily. Uh, they you just start it with a keyword switch parentheses, and you have your condition inside the parentheses. After that, then you have the body of the switch, which is just uh, surrounded by curly brackets. Let's uh, define val. Let's just make it an integer. Set it equal to one for for fun. Now inside your switch statement, you have uh, case statements. So this is where, how you tell what code you want executed based on that value. So I'm done with the keyword case, the value, and then the colon, and then whatever code you want. Um, you can have as many lines in here as you want, uh, but when you're done with a particular case statement, you need a break. Remember, break removes you from the, the control statement that you're in to say that you're done. After that, you can have additional case statements. Break. Now when I run this, you can see hi there was printed. So val was, I, I set it to one. We went into the switch statement with val equaling one. So case zero did not execute. We didn't see val was zero printed. Uh, but what we did see printed was hi there, which was a result of case one being hit. So if I change this to zero, real quick, now you can see that the val was zero is what was printed. So case zero executed. And since it hit the break, I didn't execute anything else in the switch statement. Um, another part of switch statements is called a default case. So if uh, you want to catch everything, else so if it doesn't hit any other case statements you can have this default statement that'll catch everything so now let's say let's just change this to some random number now when i run this you're going to see default was printed uh, because uh, val was 45 there was no case for 45 so the default it executed instead